In this video, we're going to be looking at a question from the Maths Leave Insert Paper 2 from 2022. You'll find some timestamps below the video if you want to skip to a specific question. And also, if you want to go to a different question that I'm covering in this video, check out the playlist that you should find a link for in the description below. And this is question one. It's predominantly about coordinate geometry with questions about slopes, and distance, and equations of lines. Although most questions in this part can be done without much of the formulas, but I'll try and show you the formulas anyway. A part one asks us to find the slope of AC, of this triangle here, A, B, and C. So this line here. First of all, um, let me show you the slow way, the, the way a lot of students probably like to do. Use the formula, m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Don't try and remember this, I, I'm not good at remembering it. Look it up. Uh, so we have two points here. We need, let me write them here, we need a and c. So this is the first thing students actually get tripped up on. What is the point at a? It's minus two, zero. Don't forget the zero, it's minus two, zero. What's the point at c? That is um, zero, three. You can go ahead and put these into this formula. I'll do it quickly because it's not the way I want to do the question. Uh, oh, let's just put in here x1, um, y1, x2, y2. Okay, y2 is three, minus y1 is zero, over x2 is zero, minus x1 is minus two. Don't forget there's two minuses. Two minuses make a plus. Three minus zero is three, 0 minus minus 2, 0 plus 2, 2, 3 over 2. You didn't have to do any of that. You could have done this question much, much quicker. There's a triangle. Use triangles if you can to get slopes. Here's the triangle A, C, and we're using a straight line 0 here. The height of this triangle is 3. The length of this triangle is 2. You have the rise over the run. If you have a slope, it's easy to get with a triangle. It's three divided by two, and it's going up, so it's positive. You don't have to put the plus there. Same answer. Much quicker to do it that way. Now for the second part, they ask about uh, this line here, AC, that we just did, and the other line, BC, this line here. And they ask to find out, is it perpendicular? So how do we do that? We, um, we get the slope of both of them. If, if this, if, now we multiply them together. If the two slopes multiply together to get minus one, they're perpendicular. So really, what you should be thinking about when you see perpendicular is getting the slopes first. So we already got the slope of AC. Let's get the slope of BC. You can do it the same way as this formula. Just get the point um, five zero in, in, with uh, zero three. I, I won't show you that. I'll, I'll do the quick way again. A triangle. We have a triangle. It looks like this. The length of this is 5. The height of it is 3. So the slope is equal to the height, 3, divided by the length, 5. Except it's going down. It's, the slope is going downward, so it's a minus slope. Here's the two slopes. Let's multiply them together. 3 over 2 multiplied by minus 3 over 5 equals 2 minuses make a minus, uh, sorry, a minus and a plus make a minus. 3 times 3 is a 9, 2 times 5 is a 10. That is not equal, that is not equal to minus 1, it's quite close. Minus 0 0.9 but it's not equal to minus 1. And that's why it actually looks like a right angle because it's, it's nearly minus 1. Okay, on to part B. They have a different triangle here. They've only given us one point, nine, one, and they've asked us to find the length of this line here, L to M. Okay, so the first thing, the first trick you need to be able to answer in this question, and it's a pretty mean question because you're sort of stuck without this first trick. Um, they tell you that the triangle is symmetrical in the y-axis. So what does that mean? Here's the y-axis, first of all. Symmetrical, that means it's like a mirror. If you fold it over, it'll, it will look identical. Uh, let me use both hands here. They look identical. They fold in at the same place. So this, if you folded it over, it would hit this point here. That tells you that this number here should be just minus nine. 
and one. Now minus one, it's still plus one. Here's the here's the one point. So we can see it should be the y should be one, but then the nine, the the x part is at nine here, should be at minus nine over here. Okay, so that's the first trick you need to you need to, you need to do. Part one then asks you for the length, the length of L M. Now you could go ahead and use the length formula. I won't write it. The the one that looks square root of um, x two minus x one squared, blah blah blah. I won't I won't bother writing it all out because you don't need to use it. You can. It works. Put this point and this point in. It does work, but it should be a lot simpler than that. Here's eight seven six five four three two one one two three four five six seven eight. You can just count. There's nine here, nine here, the length. The length is equal to 18. We could just see it from this picture. It's nine over, it's minus nine that way. You don't need to use the formula. Okay, for the next part, they, find, they ask us to find the equation of this bottom line, LM. We have the length of it here, we need to find the equation. Again, you don't need to use any formulas, but I will just, I'll point them out this time. Uh, if, if, you're, if you ever see an equation, it's a good idea just to write down the equation of a line. Um, y is equal to, sorry, y minus, uh, I do a slightly different equation that's uh, not taught so much in Ireland. Uh, y minus y1 is equal to m multiplied by x minus x1. The equation of a line, we don't need it, but you can use it. And then we need to find the slope. So the this, this slope we had in the last part, equal to y2 minus uh, y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, you could, you could go ahead, we have two points. You could find the slope, put both of these points in. What you'd actually find is zero, and that makes sense. Look, it's a line. It's a straight line. There is no slope. Slope tells you if something's going up or down. This is not going anywhere, so the slope is equal to zero. Let me just write m equals zero. So you could go ahead and use this formula. m is equal to zero. Multiply it, that just disappears. Actually, let me, let me do that one out. Uh, we'll use nine, use x1 and y1 here. y is equal to, oh, sorry, I keep writing that. Uh, y minus y1, y, y minus one is equal to zero multiplied by x minus nine. Zero multiplied by anything is zero. So that's all gone. Y minus one is equal to zero. Add one to both sides, we get Y is equal to one. You should have been able to write this at the very start without any of this. It's just a straight line that's at, at one. You need to, you need to know, uh, let me just draw a quick axis here. X and Y. This line is equal to Y, Y equals one. This comes up in the exam, this line up here is y equals to say five, if this point's five. This line here is x is equal to minus, uh, say three, or whatever the point it crosses. This line is x is equal to three, whatever point it crosses. That comes up in your exam all the time. You need to be able to see this and just write this answer. Although you could have done it the slow way. And uh, whenever you're writing just an answer, it's probably a good idea to write a bit of English with it. Say, oh, I know this because it's a straight line that goes through the point zero, 01. That'd give you full marks. Also doing it the long way would give you full marks. Okay, on to the final part, B part three. They give us the equation of the line NM. Sorry, N, yes, NM, this, this line here. And in fact, let me just draw this picture again, but instead of all of that, N, and M, we'll just draw this. That's all we need, N and M. And they ask us to find the point, use this to find the point N, because we don't know it, we don't know it yet. We know M, we do not know M. How do you find it? Again, this is not a long question. This is a question one in the exam. You could have spent 20 minutes doing each equation to this, but really, it, you could have also just answered each question if, if you knew, which is the hard part. Okay, if they give you the equation of a line, 
you need to be able to find, it happens every year, you need to be able to find where it hits the y-axis and the x-axis. Where a line hits the y-axis and an x-axis comes up every year. And that's what they're asking here. Where does this line, this line, hit the y-axis? That's what they're looking for, for n. So when it hits the, um, the y-axis, x equals zero. When it hits the x-axis, y equals zero. And that's not some trick you have to remember. x equals zero because it's above x equals zero. y equals zero because it's across from y equals zero. This point here, y equals one. This point here, x equals, uh, was a nine. Nine. That's, that's it, there's no trick here. It's just x will equal zero when it hits the y-axis. So let's just write this again, but instead of x, let's put zero. Zero plus four y minus 13 equals zero. Four uh, y minus 13 equals zero. Let's add 13 to both sides. Four y is equal to 13. Let's divide both sides by four. Four is equal to 13 over four. Sorry, y is equal to 13 over four. And that's nearly your full answer. If you put this as your answer, you'll probably lose one point. Uh, if you have a nice examiner, maybe not. The full answer is the point, 0, 13 over 4. All right, don't forget to do that in coordinate geometry questions. So many students find what x equals or what y equals and forget to give them the point. They asked you for a point, give them a point. Okay, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Till next time, have a great day.